This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have a great tool to show you guys today. Let's take a look at Veil Framework. Veil Framework is an antivirus bypass framework which generates Metasploit payload to evade detection by AVs. This tool is written in Python and is supported by at Chris Trunzer. Now, you're probably wondering how to use this tool. Well, take a look at this great example. In this demo, we will learn how to bypass Windows Defender using Veil Framework. First, let's run Veil. We want to generate an evasive payload, so we will use Evasion Module. We can find all supported payloads using the list command. Here, we will use Python Meterpreter Reverse HTTPS Payload. Let's check the IP address of the attacker machine. Then, set this IP in L host and also define L port. This IP and port information will be used by the payload to connect back. Now, run Generate Command and then set output file name to Backdoor. As we want to create the payload of executable format, we will use Pi Installer tool. After generating the backdoor and handler resource, scripts are stored in the Veil output folder. Next, we need to run the Metasploit handler using resource script. We can send this malicious binary to the victim using social engineering. Now let's imitate the target user and scan the binary using Windows Defender. We can observe that the backdoor file was not flagged as a malicious file. One important thing to notice is that Windows Defender is updated and still was not able to detect the threat. Once the target user runs the binary, we will get a meterpreter shell. Like most of our toolbox demos, the pawning happened from running an untrusted binary. By avoiding running untrusted binaries, the user can prevent most breaches. Also, if you do suspect a binary, we advise you to scan it on VirusTotal.com, a website which tries multiple AVs and hence has better luck of identifying the malicious file. Well, that's all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.